Now for ostomy care, we're gonna be doing ileostomy as well as colostomy. So Kat, what kind of ingredients are we working with today? So what we have is an already put together ostomy. So it's got the, um, the bag that you need and then it has the wafer and these come as one unit. Um, so this is one way that you might get it. And when you get these, they already have the little diameter marks on them yeah, so that you can measure, um, yeah, measure up your bullseye and make sure that, that you've got the right size. And then we also have the kind that come as two separate pieces. So one is the bag and one is the wafer. And then you have to cut the wafer. Now these bags close differently. It depends on what kind of system you're using. So it might be that it has adhesive here and you're just going to be able to fold it up. Some of them have a clip that comes with them, so a little plastic clip, and you're just going to fold it up on that clip. Now, to measure your ostomy, mm -hmm. and this is a standard wound um, measurement anyway, so this tool should look familiar. Um, but you've got inches on one side, centimeters on the other, and the part that we're really interested in for the stoma is the um, centimeter diameter in the middle. And you'll notice that that looks basically like this one, okay? Um, this one is actually, it has inches and millimeters um, and has the various measurements all the way around, okay? Very nice. Now when it's actually time to look at the stoma itself, um, as you can see, we have a red beefy one as well as a pink one. Now, just please know that the red beefy is for fresh new ostomies, usually seven days old, sometime in between that time. And the pink should be pink and moist for the duration of like long term, kind of like your lips. I know it sounds a little gross, but just like the lips, pink and moist, you never want them gray, blue, or dusky, or even pale. That's the worst. That means decreased perfusion or basically blood flow. And we have a big, big problem there. All right, so now we're going to measure the stoma. Now, if the patient has all, had a stoma for a while, they're probably gonna be able to tell you exactly what their size is. Mm -hmm. If wound care's already been to see this person, then you probably already have a template made and know what size it should be. So I'm just gonna put this, the um, bullseye mm -hmm. in the center of the stoma. Um, now, not the hole, because the hole can be actually be um, a little bit off center, but I'm just going to center up the whole stoma. Mm -hmm. Now, any if I cut this too big, then gastric juice is going to hurt okay. the patient's um, skin. It's going to make it red and raw, and then we're going to have a lot of problems later. Mm -hmm. If I make it too small, then they're going to have trouble getting um, any kind of vascular um, vascularization to it. So they're gonna actually have issues with blood flow. So, and you have just a little bit of playroom. There's no such thing as perfect. Um, so if you're, you know, uh, up to a centimeter off sometimes is okay. It depends on the patient um, and depends on what you see here. So what I would do is say that that was at that um, four centimeters in diameter. And then if I was gonna match it up to here, I would again just, you know, kind of line it up and figure out where my four was. And on this one, that's gonna be about 38 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna open the standalone um, wafer. So what you would do is go ahead and cut this piece out and then you have a template, okay? And again, all your equipment is gonna be a little different, so you have to actually look at it. Now, if the patient had specific needs, sometimes you'll put down some stoma paste, sometimes you'll put down some skin prep, um, and sometimes none of that's necessary. Sometimes all of it is. And so you just have to know your patient and what their needs are. So I'm gonna fit this around that stoma, and I'm gonna try, and it's real hard on a belly. So if, if you're having trouble, just know that it's the belly, not you. But you're gonna to try to get this as flat down against the stomach as you possibly can. Otherwise, it's gonna leak. And then you're just gonna clip this on. And you're gonna make, and you can actually, um, some of them you can pull up here so that you're not pushing down on your patient. Um, if you're real certain about how your size is, you could attach this ahead of time. 
and it just it snaps on real easy mm -hmm. and then i'm just going to make sure that this bottom end is secured and that wraps it up for ostomy care <laughs>